Hello, I'm Lux, and I really enjoyed this episode. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm Ember, and this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 8, Episode 23, Sounds of Silence. I think my favorite parts of the episode was that creepy pony, because he was not creepy, he was hilarious, and to, I think her name was Autumn Blaze? I like her. She she is awesome. Also, I think her and Pinkie Pie need to get together. Seriously, it would be a blast. Yeah, it, it would be great. So much fun all around because they would talk for several weeks straight. And then Autumn would just stop at one point and go, You know, I think I've talked enough. But not until after they've sang 10 or 20 friendship songs. This is one of my number one hits. Smile, smile. <laughs> And of course, then they would they would run into Cheese Sandwich, and it would start up again. So, we finally get to see the Kirin, a different type of unicorn, because pretty much every culture has a unicorn. Pretty much. If you want to find out more about Kirin, you can go and look up two particular episodes of Ember's Reading Room. Well, I think it's probably occurred in the second episode, but watch both of them in just in case. <laughs> because... More views. Why not? Might be titled something like Learning About Unicorns. Uh, I also like the part at the beginning of It's just a name, Fluttershy. Like Cloudsdale <laughs> and the Crystal Impact. Okay, I see your point. And now Twilight's all excited. Like, you two haven't been. <laughs> yes, we have. Yeah, but it's the first time it's happened again. Because so far there have been no repeats. Mm -hmm. Except in syndication. <laughs> and it's always to places Fluttershy doesn't want to go. Because she really didn't want to go to Las Pegasus. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Fluttershy is quite the introvert. But she's getting much better at speaking up for herself. Like in this particular episode, Applejack! The squirrels told me. There's a shortcut. Also, Applejack, did you ever once think to look over your shoulder and make sure Fluttershy was okay? The last thing we saw the two of you together was you helping her with a jump. You never once thought to look back after that point? If you think about it, it's a call back to the, was it the third episode? I know it was early on in the first season where, well, Pinkie Pie was hopping back and forth going short hop, skip, and a jump. Hop and a jump and move your little rump. That's scary how you have a mind like a steel trap, a blessing and a curse. Quite. But yeah, I think there was a bit of a callback to that because Applejack, because Applejack just stops and goes, wait a minute, grab Fluttershy. <laughs> because she should have been able to do that just fine. And we saw her flying over to reveal the shortcut just fine. But I guess it's like hoverboards. It's harder over water. Yeah, I never got that. I really enjoyed this episode, specifically Autumn and that pony. Just, Ember knows, I laughed a lot at that pony. Because he just kept going. Every time the laughter would have normally stopped, they just reran the soundtrack. Yeah, it was just it's great. Backing up slowly. And the way they animated him, I'm like, oh my god, they couldn't have done this during season one. Just his facial expressions. and This would not have been possible in season one. I want to see this pony again, but we only have like one more season after this. And we're probably not going to see him. Nope. Yeah, I heavily debated between drawing him and Autumn. But as Ember pointed out after the watching, you completely forgot about him after Autumn came on screen. Hmm. Valid point. So, as you can tell, I'm drawing Autumn. Not the season. W what are you thinking? <laughs> and if I'm not doing the name right, it will be down below in the description. Well, we know the first part of the name is Autumn, so that's how we're going to refer to her through the rest of the episode. And Lux called it immediately that the Kirin and the other creatures were the same creature. But that brings up the fact that Twilight also pointed out that this was a long time ago. But it sounded like this story was a recent thing. It also, now that I think about it, Autumn said it's been a long time before she's talked to anyone else, and... She acts pretty crazy, so. <laughs> kind of reminds me a lot of The Castaway. How Tom Hanks talked a lot to a volleyball. Well, the thing is, all that came down 
you know, to Rockhoff's village and all people knew was that there were both types of creatures. Who says fights didn't happen in the past? Hmm. It's just this final one got out of control and they wrecked the entire village. Hmm. Hulk smash. More like, um, if I remember his name from the Fantastic Four. Johnny, the Human Torch, flame on. I suddenly saw him. It's more like a village full of him and everyone gets angry and... Why is everything on fire? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, and the transitional animation for the cure between the two forms reminded me a lot of um, changeling transformations. They may have even reused the base transformation animation and just replaced the sprites with the flame animation. Or just recolored it. Because they probably already have that asset. All they would have to do is change the coloring on it to more match the Kieran's flames. I do like the Kieran design, too. Very much so. You know, s some Kieran designs are prettier than others, and some are not so pretty. Do you mean overall or in this particular episode? I mean uh, depictions of Kieran overall. A quick Google image search should bring everything up for you. Ah, because I actually haven't gone looking for Kieran, and I completely forgot that Amber's reading room read a book on it because Amber gave me such a glare when we should probably do a Google search before we do the record. Why is she? Oh, she's. Oh, she bought. Oh, we did an Amber's reading room episode. Okay. Yeah, all about <laughs> unicorns. So, whoops. Also, second plug. Don't mind. <laughs> we'll probably plug it again at the end. Probably not. <laughs> I really enjoyed Autumn's song. Oh yeah, that was fun. That that gently hammered home the point of the message of the episode. Which was, you can't wall out all your emotions just to keep from feeling bad. Because you have to accept the good and the bad. Because both are part of life. And the problem isn't the emotion that you feel, it's what you do about it. Mindfulness. There's an app for that. Several. And it was pretty much a giveaway in the beginning that those flowers Fluttershy gathered were going to be important. Yeah, I almost immediately was like, Gotcha. Something's going to be special about that. Because otherwise, why would they point it out? But they tried to misdirect us because they already had... Oh, because Fluttershy helped the squirrels, she knows a shortcut to get to the village. Hmm. But because of the way they kind of focused on the flower, when Applejack came back as Fluttershy was pulling it out... Because Fool's Breath was specifically the last flower they added. There wasn't just Fool's Breath in that arrangement. So I knew something was going to be important about that flower or plant. And once we did the flashback and the song, I was like, ah. <laughs> gotcha. Also interesting that the vow of silence was actually enforced magically. I thought when they were talking about the vow of silence, I was like, oh, okay, they all agreed not to speak. No, that was an edict and nobody could talk. Nobody's capable of talking because words hurt. And because of Apparently, um, it also took away emotion or at least dampened it. Because you can still fight and disagree without talking. Oh, yeah. Just ask Lux about some of the glares he gets. <sighs> Woohoo! There's been times where I've been looking at something else and suddenly there's that sense of impending doom again. What did I forget now? <laughs> Turn around. Oh, those are some nice daggers you have there. Very shiny. Don't let him fool you. I've never actually held him at knife point. <laughs> it just seems like it at times. So, any particular nitpicks you'd like to go over? Uh, overall, I think the episode went rather well. We haven't had a Table Tree Castle Map episode in a while. Because when Discord did it, it was a fake out. And we didn't focus on the adventurers. We focused on those left behind. It was interesting that the Kieran didn't seem to mind Fluttershy and Applejack talking. Even though Applejack was getting visibly frustrated with the Kieran. I remember that bugging you. Yeah, and I'm like, Applejack, stop pushing. Yelling isn't going to get you anywhere. Yelling usually doesn't. You were scared of these guys in the beginning because they came out of the woodwork so silently. And... Now you're frustrated because you're not getting answers the way you think you should be getting them. You're there to help others, which means you need to understand what's going on.
because if you try to fix a problem without fully understanding all sides of it, it can cause some wonderful extra problems. Just like how Applejack and Fluttershy got two different sides of the story. Applejack was like, oh, we have to get them talking. And Fluttershy's like, we absolutely cannot let them talk. That also kind of goes through their point of view as Fluttershy like is kindness and calmness and this is peaceful. This works. If that happens again, that's going to cause a lot of problems because they see all the problems it could cause. But Applejack's all about the truth and talking things out. And Applejack's loud in her nature because she's probably used to doing a lot of authoritative shouting and commanding of the rest of the people on the farm, not just her family. Yeah, not just her family, but you have the animals, you know, because we've seen her do herding and stuff before. And you have to sound confident when you're doing that. Also, Applejack got to hear actual words. Fluttershy just got to see pictures that are descriptions. Because she said that she wasn't getting any emotions from the Kirin. You know, that I can tell what Angel Bunny's feeling, but I'm not getting anything from these Kirin. Which is our first hint that their emotions are dampened. Hmm. I just realized this water would be great against Grimm. Different series, Ruby. Go watch it, it's fun. It reminds me a lot of Rin. Yes, and his ability, which seems to be some sort of dampening or masking, because negative emotions draw Grimm, just in case you haven't watched Ruby. <laughs> Why haven't you watched Ruby? Because um, some people say it's kind of gone downhill up to a certain point. Well, I, I like where it's going. Sorry, story, character development, things that are subtle. Yeah, I, I know it's made the fighting scenes a little bit, a lot more talky, but have you ever watched a shonen anime? They do a lot of talking during the fight scenes. <laughs> to each their own, but come on, give it a chance. But back to this episode, and that song was wonderful. The animation in this episode is really stellar. Though, going back to voice work real quick, was it just me or did the queen? Princess? They just said leader. Their leader? The voice seemed kind of off to me. Not just that they haven't spoken for a while, but I think the actor put a little too much, like, royal presence into it. It's hard to explain. It felt not stilted or anything, but it's hard to explain. It just felt off to me. Just... Subtle for saying it didn't really work for you. I just find it interesting how in so many of these cultures, the leaders seem to be larger than the rest of the ponies. That was a complaint that people had before MLP ever started because they put their own interpretation on how the white alicorn ruled over all the other smaller multicolored creatures because some people are small-minded and put their prejudice on something as tiny as a trailer. <laughs> But then you have both sets of changeling leaders. Both Chrysalis and Thorax were larger than the others. Prince Rutherford is about the same size as all the other adult yaks. But the Kirin leader is much larger than the other Kirin. So we now have three species where the leaders are significantly larger than the rest of the tribe. Also, when I was looking at the leader, all I kept thinking is like, hmm, this is a redecoration of the base for Celestia. I was thinking that too. I need to look into the credits and see if she was voiced by Celestia. Be kind of an interesting little tidbit there. So to wrap things up, this episode and that one creepy pony and uh, Autumn. Wow. Really enjoyed it. Very fun. A nice additional bit of plot development because we're introducing yet another race. Another race that appears very powerful because just how much damage can a fire mare do? And that reminds me, I don't think I brought it up in this recording yet because I was we were talking a little bit before we started. I love that scene where, huh? One moment, please. Ah! Okay, please continue. <laughs> <laughs> but going on with that, even though we're trying to get to the outro. I liked her rescue of Fluttershy and Applejack. Very much so. That was awesome. Very awesome. Now, with the outro. This has been our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. 
Season 8, Episode 23, Sounds of Silence. Thanks for listening. All the usuals. Like, subscribe, share, comment. I, I think there's a bell now or whatever else uh, YouTube has come up with by the time uh, you get around to watching this video because the internet is forever. And you can watch other videos because uh, we have a bunch. Like we said, the internet is forever. When you're ready to leave YouTube, we have some links to help you with that. You can find more of Lux's art by clicking on them. You can also find Lux's Patreon and Lux's Coffee. Might, no, this one's hit and miss, but sometimes we put in some uh, product links for some MLP stuff that we think you might enjoy. But on to the money portion because hmm, just about everyone's doing this. So Patreon starts out at a dollar. Dollar gets you the ability to comment, make suggestions for polls, vote in said polls, and view the sketches created from those polls. More money, more rewards. Think of it like a PBS thing. And for those who don't want to make a monthly commitment, there is coffee. It works in increments of three, uses PayPal. Oh, and if you're in the go big or go home category, there's commissions. He, he's seriously underpriced for how long it takes him. You should show him that he should do something else with his time by giving him a bunch of commissions and suddenly he loses all his free time. Don't you dare think about it. You know who you are. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and listening. We appreciate all of the support that we receive in the form of views, likes, comments, dialogue, suggestions, and of course financially as well but all of it is truly appreciated thank you to all of our supporters subscribers etc in whatever form you choose to grace us with your presence